Uh, yep. Uh, still working on the van. Basically, I replaced inner and outers on his van set for that piece was structural. That piece was structural. I did that yesterday. The only thing I haven't done is still need to take the tire off and um go ahead and show blur. Yeah. The light went off. Sweet. I love this camcorder. Sweet. Commercial break. I probably will do this today. I don't know. See right there. So I just hacked it up. I need to make that 45 and cut that metal off. But the rest of it, it wasn't my, some of my best work, but it was some work. Um, really, that light went out too? Went all the way up in there. I their pa their uh, rocker panel. It wasn't even better than my panels. A little bit. At least I didn't have to form all of them. So what I'm trying to do is buy a. I've been doing some research on a 12-ton pipe bender from Harbor Freight, but they don't have them in stock. Because I believe that I'm in modifying that roll bar. I just believe that I'm gonna end up doing it. So what I'm gonna try to do is some calculation is put take this van out, put it in there because there's two stalls still open in there. And I from there to there. I'm pretty much sure that there's not enough room to take this lift and they have like, I don't know, they have things you put underneath there and you lower it and have wheels so you can wheel it around. To take this and then push it forward. And the reason I want to do that is I feel that the Challenger should be on level ground. Unlike this lift, this lift is, um, you know, It's old. You can tell where that's not too, it's that little gap rama that's not too low. Not that I think it'll matter, but I'm just trying to get myself the best outcome that I can. You know, these little, these are from the neons, the eight foot, not neons, LEDs. I kept the boxes so the leaves don't blow in my garage. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to I gotta put the Grand Prix back in the booth. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this out. I, mean, I just don't think so. But anyway, I'll make this short and sweet because the last one I rambled on and on. This is all what I quote unquote thought was solid. Yeah, this is where it actually stopped up in the front. I mean, it might look like a little something. I mean, you, know, you would think, hey, I can weld to that. Try. You know, it'll blow right through. And then I went shopping. Go to the, I don't know if you guys have an Ollie's store in your town. The Ollie's is like, I don't know, I call it a junk store. You never know what they got and how long it's gonna be in there. I call it like a Harper Freight retail store but anyway when I when I find a good price or something I just buy everything they have um, it's just the way I am okay what well, $4.99 you get 10 brushes that's 50 cents a brush so I bought all five packs I'll get some more low carried away trust me there is I don't know if you ever used them. Grease Monkey gloves. They're not that thick. I got 30 boxes of them. I calculated it out at 30 boxes at 100, 100, not 100 pair, but 100 gloves inside. Basically, would give me 1,500 pairs of gloves. And what I mean is, 
Oh, there's two more boxes. These are, I think they're eight mil. These you can actually clean. There's another box. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, you can actually clean a spray gun with lacquer thinner and it won't deteriorate the gloves. These will re deteriorate really quick. And the reason I, reason I like these, $1.99 with 10, and then 10 percent off on top of that. Really? The reason I like it is because when it seems to me when I'm in there spraying, I tend to get something on my hands and then it sticks to the gun and then you transfer it on everything and I'd rather just wear one pair of gloves on each pass I make and just throw them away and grab another pair because they're cheap enough. There's where I cut my saw. I was wondering where the blood came from. Anyway, it's good to know. And then on top of that, okay, uh, I bought there's 16 ounce cans and if anybody went and looked for like primer or paint of any kind they've just gotten out of control just way out of control where's my light and if I didn't bring it with me oh no why would I do that there's no reason to do that don't want to see nothing anyway paint is like six to ten dollars it just it just it's just whack that's for a 12 ounce can so I bought 96 cans at 16 ounces a can. It's high build. Well, you know, I'm not saying it's high build. I'm just saying it's primer. You know, I wouldn't use it for high build. But anyway, what they do is they buy um, stores that go out of business. I don't know. So there's, I don't know how many, but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 11, so it's 900, no, it's 96 cans of primer. If you take 30, I'm sorry, 10% off, that would be $2.70. How can you say no? And what I, reason I bought that is for these, mainly. She's got a lot of toolboxes to be, uh, Whoa, got a lot of toolboxes that need to be uh, finished. A lot of toolboxes, that and when I do body work, I, I, I suck, okay? Can anybody say it? Shoe sucks at body work. I do. I suck really bad. Um, I wish I didn't suck, but I do suck. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll do a panel and then I think it's beautiful and it's not beautiful. So I'll bomb it with primer, spray can, and then I'll use a black guide coat on it. Because I've tried to do the dry guide coat and it doesn't work for me. I, I just don't know why it does. It doesn't work that great for me. So then I'll put guide coat on it with spray bomb and then I'll sand, I'll sand it down flat and basically show me all my high and low spots. Basically all the primer's gone. Okay, so it's basically a waste of primer. What it is, it's just, it's just show me how close I am before I bring it in the booth that I can use slick sand to fill up the imperfections. That's what the primer's for. What I use it for. Anyway, this is going to be my Harbor Freight. They say that if you, and they don't have it in stock. 4080 schedule pipe, uh, whatever that means. This pipe is 0 0.140. What I'm understanding, um, I filled that in on the end. What I'm understanding that it will bend this, but there's two ways to do it. Either you pack it with fucking sand when you bend it, or you take an inch intercolts and you bend it like 15 pumps and then move it over 15 pumps 15 pumps 15 pumps so you don't get a kink um i looked and looked what 40 and 80 schedule pipe is they they show doing it on brush guards and stuff like that so i'm assuming it's roll bar i i don't know um why do i think i need one they're 149 dollars uh, the way I'm going to have them twisted around the seat because between the door and the seat on the Challenger, there's no room. That's all I can say. 
So I don't know, I want to bring the Challenger over here, but I don't want to be stuck stop into working on the Challenger and need a pipe bender and I don't have one yet as the material, as a upholstery man is waiting for the seats because I need the seats here so I can wrap the bars around the seats to make sure they fit before he goes re them. them. Anyway, uh, peace of poverty, peace of oneself, peace on earth, rest in peace, bigger peace of pie, peace of acts, peace of pussy, peace of corn, dog, peace of pizza. And when the big dogs get all done eating, you and probably just like me get a piece of something, motherfucker. Bye, bark boys.